What is going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today for you I have made a top 7 list of the best maze run maps ever in Fortnite. When I made the list I try and find the best and the biggest maps ever so you could play with your friends. These maps will go from up to 4 people and even 8 to 16. All of these 7 maps will have a different style and a type. So one will be like a really huge one made from stone and with few chests. One will be that a race that you need to drive the car through the labyrinth. The next one you will need to kill something and that's how you win. And some you will need to go and be the fastest to get to the middle and that type of thing. And like per usual guys stick till the end of this video because for each and every map I'll give you a code and a specific review what you would need to know if you want to play it. Having said that let's get right into it. So in the first place is in my opinion the best map so far it's one of the biggest and it can hold up to 8 people. All to do is each of you spawn in different locations and you need to get to the middle. Each of you will get a weapons and bunch of chests in which you can open and then fight each other. So your opponent aka your enemy will not be the fastest and the first to win. Whenever you die again you respawn back to the place and chests keep respawning every minute or two. Like I previously mentioned this is a huge map so it will take a bunch of time to complete but there are so many things like going from ice to traps to bounce pads and that type of thing. This map itself is a hybrid so what do I mean by this? If you don't know what hybrid is it's basically a map a aka maze run combined in three four elements so being a puzzle map a race a free for all and the maze run itself going over to the next map in my opinion this one is the most unique and just aesthetically pleasing so when you take a look at this map it's huge there are so many things this one as well is a huge hybrid so the main thing is that you'll spawn with cars you need to drive till first level then after the second level you will get grapplers after the third and so on so forth you'll get a bunch of things which you need to complete each level this is a race so it can hold up up to three people and each of you are racing so you can kill each other you can be the fastest you can bump in and crash with cars you can see and I previously mentioned there are a bunch of levels and each one of those levels will be something else in the first level you have a huge house in the second you will need to race with cars in the third there will be like a forest maze run so you basically get the drill again a huge map with bunch of levels and in my opinion it just looks awesome. So going over to the third map, in this one you need to get to the middle and get the llama, whoever gets first wins. You can hold up up to 8 people, each of you spawn in the same place, but this one is a labyrinth aka a maze run. The catch in this one is that you cannot really see where you're going, so whenever you see the maze itself, it's by block, so you can go through the walls, some walls you can go, some you can't, making it really hard and basically improving your memory so you know which wall you can go through and which you can't. I played with my friends, we like got really confused but at the same time it was really fun because we could kill each other, be the first ones to get the llama and other stuff like that. In this map there aren't any levels, this is the labyrinth and the maze run itself but still it took about 30 to 40 minutes for each of us to complete this map. So looking into the next map, this one is one of the weirdest I would say. Why is that? Because it's mainly made from mirrors. There's about 6 to 7 levels. Each level has a different block, aka a different mirror. When you will be inside the actual maze, you will not be able to see a lot of stuff. So you will just need to go from one place to another. There will be usually 3 to 4 waypoints and 3 to 4 choices which you need to get. So either way go through middle, left, top or bottom. Making this map and maze run really hard. This is a single player map so no contestants or no enemies whatsoever. When I played it the first level was really hard and challenging and I couldn't complete it but I guess if you are in this type of stuff like trying to search the exit, trying to escape from the escape room and going through the next and next levels I guess this is the map for you. Going over to the next map in my opinion this was the most fun which I ever had in a maze run. So this one is up to 16 people and each of you will get and spawn in different locations. And of course this is a huge map so there are so many waypoints, so many traps. You can as well get guns, grapplers. Like in every maze run, whoever gets the first to the middle wins. But this is more like a team deathmatch with a lot of maze run and labyrinth type of features which you can use to be the winner. The higher you get the harder of course it will get. So by implementing this feature it makes this map really awesome and really fun to play with. Not only you need to find the next exit and the next room which you will survive but as well try and find your enemies use bounce pads jump pads and almost every single item and jump mechanic you can think of in fortnite so taking a look into one of the last maps i try to find not the hardest but as well not the easiest 
so somewhere in between the middle. I'm really bad at Fortnite parkouring maze runs or escape rooms, so if some one of those players is watching this video as well, I found a maze run for you which will not be the hardest and not the easiest. So basically for the average player you should be able to complete this thing in about 20 to 30 minutes. Of course if you want you can bring some friends because this map is up to 4 people. No fighting or no campaigning whatsoever, you just from the chest get some shields and health and you need to survive. This maze run is mainly made as an escape room because you will mainly 99% of the time will not know where you are going or if you are going in the right direction. So at the times it will get really confusing, but like I said, none of these things are hard. All you need to do is find out the exit and that's it. This map has really simple design and simple parkour techniques. Okay, so taking a look at the last map, this one is the only one which is in feature tab. So right now in this week you can play it right away from the feature tab. So this one is the opposite of the previous one. This is again really simple, but one of the hardest parkour maps, aka maze run and escape rooms ever. For now it will seem like as a really simple design itself but the thing the hardest is that mainly you will not know where the next level is and it will be really hard because sometimes to get through the next level you need to open the actual door jump on the door and then jump on the next level and use like a bunch of really weird mechanics and that map creators themselves can actually make these techniques in fortnite which i didn't know even exist so yeah a really confusing map with a really simple design but if you're into that i guess this is the map for you but having said that i really appreciate him for watching and i hope you enjoyed let me know guys in comment section down below any future more lists or video improvements or any things that you would like to see click like on this video if you enjoyed it and of course don't forget to click subscribe to keep up to date with every video that i make which is every single day so if you're interested in the hardest parkour maps the easiest ones the featured maps for the beginners all the top 20 top 10 codes that matches free for alls maze runs and many more lists that I have already created look all those videos up they are under my channel and with that said, appreciate you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. My name is Kate. Signing out. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. Peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the world is pretty cool.